Jerry from the Ahu Project here, and we are going to be talking about the Dame 5s. Now, these are Damian Lillard's fifth signature shoe. Let's jump right into it. Now, let's talk about the aesthetics and the way the sneaker looks. Now, I got this in the You Know What Time It Is colorway, which is uh, we got some white, we got some black, we got some red in here as well. And I got this colorway simply because I don't have a lot of white sneakers. I only have one other white sneaker, which is uh, the KD9s, and I got it in black and white. But these, for some reason, this colorway and the mint green colorway actually caught my eye. But I ended up going with these because I don't really have a lot of white sneakers in my collection. And these are absolutely beautiful. Um, these, actually I just found out, it was like in the top maybe 10 colorways for the Dame Fives by Sneakerheads. And yeah, <laughs> these are super dope. And the thing I like about the Damien Fives is that there's a bunch of dope colorways for this sneaker. Let's talk about the overall fit for this sneaker. I went true to size. I'm a size 10. I got these in a size 10. Actually, I ordered these online and they fit really, really well. They fit true to size. So if you're a size 10, definitely go with a size 10. Or if you're a size 6, 7, anything, go true to size with this sneaker. It has that really, really comfortable and just lockdown fit. Now the first thing I noticed when I put my foot into this sneaker is that it's super, super comfortable. Man, it's way more comfortable than the shoe I reviewed beforehand, which was the Russell Westbrook's Why Not uh, 0.2. These are way more comfortable. I think it's because of the, uh, the pads that they have in here. They have this internal padding that runs alongside the midfoot and under tongue, providing extra comfort, and I definitely felt that extra comfort is super comfortable very breathable as well and I really enjoyed the overall fit with this sneaker. The one thing I do want to touch on that I didn't touch on on my last sneaker review for the Russell Westbrook's Why Not 0.2 is the materials on this shoe. Now the materials here we have a textile and soft suede upper and it's super soft super comfortable the only thing is that the suede gets super dirty after you start playing in them after 10 minutes it gets it catches dust really really well and um, which is not a good thing <laughs> so you do have to tend to clean them every so often or every time after you play um, they do get a little bit yellow they do get a little bit brown as well but they uh, provide extra comfort it's super soft now this this net up here on the front i don't i don't know exactly what type of material this is it does seem like fly net but again i could be wrong um, it is super soft i have no problems here uh, their ability it seems really well, it holds up really, really well. I've only played in this sneaker maybe a handful of times, not too much, but it's been holding up really well so far. We have this thermal plastic here on the side, which adds protection. Um, I don't really feel anything from this. I feel like this is more of like an aesthetic type of thing. It does give it a very unique look to the sneaker, which I actually liked and what draw me into the shoe. But for the protection, I, I don't know, I didn't really seem like it didn't seem like it add anything to it but uh it looks cool now let's talk about the cushioning setup on this sneaker like i said before in my last sneaker review the cushioning setup is the number one thing i look for in a sneaker and when i first put my foot in here i actually couldn't tell if the cushioning was really, really good or really really bad i couldn't really tell so i played in them and the cushioning was uh it was pretty decent it was okay it was uh something called bounce i've never Experienced the cushioning setup with bounce before it was my first time and it worked pretty pretty well I think it's a great balance between uh, I guess like having that court feel and Being overly cushioned like a LeBron has in their sneaker. Uh, I think it's a, like somewhere in the middle Now the last thing we'll talk about is the traction which is everybody's like number one or every baller number one uh thing they look into a shoe now we have here is a herringbone traction um i haven't had any problems with it when i first played with it but when you do play in like mildly dusty courts you do find yourself slipping a few times or you just feel like you don't have traction at all and i played with these recently a couple days ago and for some reason that core was super bad usually it's just pretty dusty but for some reason this day was really really bad and i found myself slipping and i had to like wipe the bottom of the sneaker a lot of times but once i did it started gripping the floor really really well so i have mixed reviews on the traction it's a hit or miss 
Um, obviously, I believe in clean quartz. It'll do an amazing job, but with mildly dusty floors, it's it's pretty decent. Um, you're gonna find yourself obviously wiping the bottom of it more than you're probably used to. Now the last thing I wanna add before I wrap up this sneaker review is the uh, ankle support here. And originally when I played with this shoe, I didn't feel too much support on my ankle. Like it didn't have like that snug fit wrapped around your ankle. And I think it's because originally the lacing here didn't go through this loop here. Um, I just recently put it through the loop and I tightened up really, really well. And then I had that nice, secured, snug fit around my ankle. But originally you won't have that, so you're gonna have to do it yourself. And the laces do run a little bit long. You will have them like touching the floor occasionally. So you might have to like do some type of weird setup where the lacing's not touching the floor or anything like that. But there you guys have it. That's my review of the Dame Fives. And I think this is a very, very well-rounded shoe overall. Um, there's nothing that was like a downfall in this shoe. I mean, the traction could be a little bit better and the cushioning could be maybe a little more cushioned <laughs> for my personal taste. But I think for just like aver average hoopers out there, it's a very, very well solid shoe. Um, I don't play with it too much just because of the white colorway. I don't want to clean them every here and so. But um, it's a well-rounded shoe. The fit was true to size. Traction was pretty decent. Cushion was pretty decent. Obviously the colorways in this sneaker is amazing. Not just this colorway, but the other colorways as well. I also think this is a very dope casual shoe too to wear like outside of the court so if you don't want to play ball or if you don't play ball pick up these shoes and hey hit the streets look dope in them but uh yeah this is jared from the ahu project oh whoa 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 before i even signed off i forgot to give my rating i'll actually give these 